Hi. Oh, Muslim. Guess what I discovered? You know, in Islam, Satan is really quite a character. You know, he, uh, not only can get himself pregnant by putting his legs together, because uh, Muhammad said that in one of his thighs there's a penis, and the other side there's a vagina, and then he he gets pregnant in the the one that has the, the, the vagina and it lays eggs and it makes little baby Satan's. Uh, and not only uh, does Muhammad say that uh, Satan can pee in your ear so you can't hear the call to prayer, and not only does Muhammad say in Sahih, authentic Hadith, that Satan sleeps in the upper interior of your, upper interior of your nose and, you, and you ha it takes three washings in the morning to get Satan out of it, and not only does Satan fart to keep from hearing the azan, which, you know, the blamer loves, he said he loved hearing the azan, Especially at uh, sunrise or was it sunrise or sun, sunset around there, you know, just yeah, he really loved that. But it sounds like Satan was a bit gay as well. I'll show you why here. I'll show you why here. This is from a Christian prince who is a native Arabic speaker, and he um, got his uh, uh, degree in uh, Islamic studies. Really knows a lot about the Hadith and all that stuff. And I'll show you why. It sounds like a, I don't know, it sounds like, a, sounds like sh Satan or was, a, I don't know, might like a Broadway show tunes or something like that. I'll, I'll show you why. Okay. Alright. To arm all of it inside his anus. Now, if I don't... There it is. Uh, however, the most... Anus now. Not someone making it as a hobby. Uh, today we will talk... We, we, we finished talking about books. I hope you learned how to choose a book to read, who is the one you can really read it from, and uh, which where where you can find read really information about religion. That's his latest So I'm trying to uh, say anyway, those who don't speak Arabic, yeah. they have a very limited access to Islamic heritage, therefore they will be very limited in the, in the way they can help you. However, still you can read their books, uh, but if you are looking for something new, uh, something maybe you never heard before, not just a copy paste from each other, then it's better if you learn from someone who speaks Arabic. Uh, as an example here, this is a book, uh, the book, just to show the Muslims here, this is the book of Sunan al-Durami, and Sunan al-Durami is one of the Sunni book, which is considered as, as, a, as a Sahih Hadith too. Uh, uh, however, the Muslim, they list, they, they have ranks for books, and there are six ranks of books uh, uh, in the, uh, the Sahih, which means six books of Sahih. Uh, however, it doesn't mean that those books are not correct. Muslims, they learn from them. This is why this is a very famous sheikh, the one who owned this website. His name is Al-Sha'rawi. He was one of the famous in Egypt for uh, until he died. And uh, this is why he is uh, teaching from it, because he as a scholar, he learned from ad -Durami. So in here you will see that it says that if you want to go to the to, to do poo-poo, uh, you better put your uh, turn your butt to a cover like a rock or a wall or a sand hill, because if you don't do that, shaitan or shayateen, they will play with your anus. And this is why Muslims, they have to make certain prayer before they enter the bathroom, otherwise shaitan play in his hands, maybe he will put screwdriver. Now, how someone who doesn't speak Arabic, he will find this, or he will learn about this, or he can read it, no way. Same, same way, if we, if we go to different uh, story, as an example. In this story, supposedly, there's a guy who wanted to make fun of, uh, of uh, Miswak, an imam was making a lecture about Miswak, so he made fun of Miswak. And in the second day in the morning, uh, he found his uh, arm, arm, you know, the whole arm, like from your finger all the way to your shoulder. He found his arm, all of it, inside his anus. Now, if I don't speak Arabic, how I'm going to be able to read this, those books? Uh, which Those stories exist in many books. So there is no way for me to be able to find them and read them and deliver them to someone else who don't speak uh, the language of the Arab unless me, myself, I speak Arabic. So those who don't speak the language, they miss a lot. Uh, as an example, there's a story, as long as we're talking about the miswak. Someone, he made fun of the miswak, and uh, Allah, he punished him, and he made him pregnant with uh, a rat. You believe it? 
Actually, I have a video for it. Let us watch it together. Well, anyway, if you want to see the video, uh, go to uh, YouTube. And it's called Funny Hadith and How to Choose a Book uh, to Read by uh, Christian Prince. And you'll be able to see this guy talking about how the um, guy made fun. The guy, I, 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 basically what happened was the guy was uh, sitting through a sermon that was all about this toothpick, uh, Miss Whack. And he said, ah, I'd rather uh, use that with, for my butt. And uh, because he said that, uh, he ended up uh, uh, pregnant. And he gave birth to a rat, and then his daughter killed the rat. And then, uh, because the rat was inside him, he died a few days later because it uh, got his guts. You know. So anyway, um, but anyway, the thing about you know uh, Satan. I don't know about you, but Satan in Islam is definitely quite the character, and apparently kind of uh, fruity too. 